Hi everybody, this is Dolores Miller and I had a lot of requests for how to do my Copic Sierra marker box holder and this is the supplies and things that you will need and I'll kind of like run you through it real quick how to make it. It's very simple, very easy. You'll love this project. Okay, starting out you will need however many boxes you choose to do. I use six. At Michael's they're called memory boxes as you can see on here it says sorry <laughs> memory box okay you will need these 6,000 you will need chipboard you will need your plastic grate which they sell it at Lowe's and it comes in a big sheet really really big big enough that it's done six of those plus three more no actually four plus this extra okay then you're going to need your crown molding or chipboard, however you choose to frame it out, or a frame if you can find one that fits it. You will need a old credit card, jerry wire, double-sided tape, sharpie marker, hole puncher, your crown molding, your plywood, your needle nose to pull the wire up, scissors to cut the paper or paper cutter, um, wire cutter, and of course your paper to do the inside and whatever trims you choose to use and pearls whatever you choose to decorate you'll need those items as well okay to get started with you are going to start off oh, and you need to take that. to start out with I'm just going to put this on the side here You're going to take your boxes, open them, of course, and then you're going to place the metal tag upwards and downwards because if you place them together, they would create a bubble and they wouldn't boxes wouldn't lay flat. Okay, so this would go up. Okay, then you're going to before you put the box down, you're going to take each 6,000 and you're going to put it all over your whole board, okay? Then you're going to place your boxes, okay? And then you're going to put these out, place your box, I'm sorry. And then you're going to staple your box. And you want to put five, two in the corners, one in the middle, okay? Then you're going to come in with your paper that you pre-cutted, whatever paper you choose to use. You're going to put it in there, which of course, this is where the double-sided tape comes into play. Be generous. Don't leave big gaps because you want to give it support. Okay? Then you're going to place this inside of your box. Then you're going to take your plastic credit card or whatever you use, and you're going to rub it like this real smooth because you want to cover the staples. You don't want those to show not very pretty. Okay? Then after that, you're going to take your plastic grate, well, before you take your plastic grate, we're going to poke our holes. And you're just going to poke a hole in your corners, all the way around all the corners. Okay? You'll do all four, and one over here. And then you'll do it here, there, and at the tops, okay? Then you're going to place your plastic grate inside the box. And then you're going to it'll be a nice snug fit and you'll just play with it till you get it in there. There. There we go. And like I said, just play around. But at the end you want it to be that level like that. There you go. Okay? Then you're going to take your plastic grate and you're going to take a piece of wire that you cut with your wire cutters. You're going to insert it into the hole like that. And then you're just going to twist it as tight as you can, all four of them. And that keeps the grate in place so it doesn't slide up and down. You'll continue to do that until you have them all four done. After that, you'll take your chipboard that you've covered with paper, like up here, 
you're going to take that and you're going to lay it here and you want to come out not flush with this because when you lay your crown molding you don't want it to have a gap you want the crown molding to stay flat so you're going to move it out to the side and you're going to cover then you're going to come back in with your crown molding and you're going to cover it and miter your ends to match and you're going to make your frame okay and if you have any of your marker on your grate, just it wipes off with the um, alcohol wipes. And now I just want to show you real quick how to cut it. You'll take your wire cutter and just gently, very gently, snap it off like this. If you, some of them will require you to go up further on the smaller boxes from Joann's, I had to go up further. And you just want to grab it and gently work it and cut it as flush as you can. If you don't get it perfectly right, it's no big deal because you're not gonna, this is gonna go bun up against the edge of the box, but you're gonna wire the corners in here to the box, so that doesn't really matter. It's not doing anything. It doesn't support anything or help you in any way, okay? And that is it. You, and you would want to paint your edges of your box if you desire. If, if you, anybody's gonna be able to see the edges, be sure to paint them. If they're not going to be able to see it, like you can't see it on mine, you wouldn't have to. Thank you, and I hope you enjoyed this. And I will be coming back with another one showing you how to do the individual boxes to set on your desk. Thank you, and have a blessed day.